on the Political Parties Amendment Bill of 2021 with the Council of Governors and the County Assemblies Forum and KOTU appearing before the committee to submit their views. Elizabeth Mutuku tells us more. The mess. <laughs> Day one of public participation on the contentious political parties amendment bill of 2021, various stakeholders appeared before Senate's Justice and Legal Affairs Committee. Majority of those who appeared before it seemingly endorsing the bill as it is. Political parties are important organs in a nation we all know. They create checks and balance. They widen democracy and inclusivity and give citizens a wide choice. And to say then, some have been heard to say that uh, it is underfunded parties or small parties that bring problems in this nation, and my chair will be speaking later, we want to say that is not correct. But what if a Ghana, for example, has a senator, not a presidential candidate? and can enter into a coalition after election. Where do you place the small parties in this legal framework? However, the Council of Governors, County Assemblies Forum and ELOG poke holes into the political parties amendment bill. The County Assemblies Forum, through its chair, Degwa Wahome, opines that amendment ought to be undertaken on some clauses, especially on giving registrar of political parties more mandate. There is uh, no way that uh, the, this amendment can impeach the provisions of the Constitution. And therefore, this would make the, the whole bill face a lot of headwinds. I just need to go to court and say it is in contradiction with the Constitution, and uh, there would be a problem. Therefore, let the political parties be audited. If they don't want to be audited, then obviously they should not be looking for pub, uh, polit, uh, public resources. If, for instance, my party has an NDC and amends the Constitution, the party should still go to the registrar so that the copy of what the registrar has reflects what we've done. What is missing in this clause is the fact that this changes who co originates or who causes the registrar to make those changes. So that it's action by the party that then when you move to the registrar and say, we're adding these people or we're removing these people, we've changed our constitution, uh, a member of the party has changed his name, etc., it's the party that submits that to the registrar. Then the registrar effects these changes. Center for Multi-Party Democracy, CMD, through its chair, Senator Abshiro Alaki, who appeared before the committee, says there is a need of standalone legislation on political parties' primaries as well as finances on the same, proposing a clause on party primaries in the bill to be deleted. Is that there is provision for it in the Constitution but to me, that's not a good reason because the Act tries to amplify mm -hmm. what is in the Constitution. Used, and then you suggest that uh, we should deal with it at a standalone law. Are you suggesting that there should be a specific Act of Parliament dealing with the nominations? We want a law that is standalone, that just deals with party primaries, as opposed to just subsuming it into the political parties amendment bill, this particular bill. But what are you intending to cure as a result of that? We're intending to cure the continued bungled party primaries. We want to make sure that we elevate party primaries as a very important exercise right at the foundational level of our, of our democratic process because that's where we get it wrong. The application of political parties amendment bill 2021 in the August general election could still remain a challenge even if it passes in the remaining stages before it becomes a law. As political parties amendment bill 2021 and goes public participation in the Senate Justice and Legal Affairs Committee, the much awaited is to see if the Senate will put into consideration the proposal proposals by various stakeholders. Elizabeth Mutuko, TV47 Palm Buildings, Nairobi.